alcohol. Some of you who are starting college may be wondering, should you drink it? Not even once. Just kidding, this isn't one of those nonsense Angie drinking PSAs where I tell you to not drink but don't give you any reasons. No siree. On this channel, we talk about the facts. That's a fact. So here are the reasons why I think drinking sucks and is overrated. Enjoy. The first reason is alcohol tastes terrible, okay? It's just bad. Disgusting. Like the first time I drank alcohol, I was like, cheers to my first alcohol. <laughs> what the f is this? Why do people drink this trash? Why? Why, God, why? But actually, not all alcohol tastes bad though, because girly drinks do exist. Girly drinks are usually drinks that are fruity and taste good and don't make you want to vomit. And I would take a girly drink over a manly drink any f day. Fight me. I dare you. Reason number two, alcohol is expensive and it costs even more when you go out to drink. Which happens to be where people like to drink out at bars. Like I could either get my supply of Gatorade for the week or I could get one drink at a bar. I think I know which option I'd rather have. I'm a frugal man. Although if you have a low alcohol tolerance, it isn't as expensive as if you have a high alcohol tolerance. And we determine this by using Science. If it takes more drinks to get you drunk, then it takes more money to get you drunk. This is because there is a direct positive correlation between number of drinks and cost. Boom. This is now an education channel. But seriously, I think it's really funny when guys try to brag and say, Yo, bruh, my tolerance is just so high, I can handle so many drinks. But can your bank account handle it? Oh! Reason number three, alcohol impairs your ability to do certain things. You know what I'm talking about. No, not that. That's not what I'm talking about. This is a wholesome, family-friendly channel. Even though I am talking about alcohol. Anyway, what I was talking about is driving. And I love driving. Like it is one of my favorite things to do in life. But yeah, if you like living, don't drink and drive. It's stupid, okay? Reason number four, alcohol makes people do stupid <laughs> like take their clothes off in public or yell ridiculous nonsense or both. I am a Jedi! Well, technically, alcohol takes the part of the brain that stops you from doing stupid <laughs> and shuts it down. Shut it down. Unfortunately for me, that part of my brain never really existed. Hence, why this stupid show even exists. <laughs> Another downside to my naturally drunk state is that it causes my friends to like to try and get me really drunk so that they can have a hilarious live show. Let's get up drunk! Fortunately, this only happens about once every six months. But it is not fun when it happens. Oh no, it is not fun. Which brings us to reason number five. Drinking too much can make you sick as f It feels so good. I don't know if you know what dry heaving is, but it's not fun. It's it's just not. Basically, you feel like you need a vomit, which is disgusting. Then you start to vomit, which is disgusting. Except there's no vomit coming out. Oh, and and you feel like you want to die. It's terrible. Luckily for me, last time I got this sick from alcohol, I had my ex there to take care of me. Back when she still gave a shit about me. <sighs> Stop it, dude, you gotta get over her. She'd even been drinking more than me. But that's because she was a sorority girl, meaning she drank more in her first month of college than I drank in my whole god life. But yeah, was not fun. Would not recommend. It gets one Patrick star. Hopefully now, you can decide for yourself if you think drinking sucks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, never share your password, ever. <coughs> what the f Why do people drink this sh I really don't know.